Hello friends, in today's video we are going to learn about how to manage a case of hyperthyroidism. Myself Dr. Ajay, the investigations which are required to diagnose a case of hyperthyroidism is low level of serum TSH with high level of serum free T3 and the free T4. Then we can label it as a hyperthyroidism. Now how to manage a case of hyperthyroidism? We can give the symptomatic therapy and we can give the definitive therapy. The symptomatic therapy includes a beta blocker. The most commonly used beta blocker is the propranolol. The definitive therapy include antithyroid drug, radioactive iodine ablation therapy and the third is the thyroid surgery means thyroidectomy total or partial. Now we will discuss about the everything in the detail. First is the symptomatic therapy. The first line used drug for the symptomatic therapy is the beta blocker propranolol. The dose of propranolol is 40 mg HS at the bedtime. The brands available are the Inderal or the Ciplar LA. The mechanism of action is it acts on a beta 1 and beta 2 receptor and it blocks the beta 1 and beta 2 receptor and it reduces the sympathetic overactivity which is produced by the overproduction of the thyroid hormone and the additional effect is it also block the peripheral conversion from T4 to T3 so if the patient having anxiety perspiration palpitation weight loss these are the symptoms which are related to the sympathetic overactivity these symptoms resolve with by using the beta blocker like the propranolol. Now, if the propranolol is contraindicated, like in case of the severe asthma or the Reynolds disease, because the propranolol is the beta blocker, so it leads to the bronchospasm in case of asthma. So we should avoid the propranolol in case of asthma and Reynolds disease. In this case, uh, we can use the alternative drugs like the verapamil and the deltiazem. The dose of verapamil is 80 to 120 mg BD or TDS. The dose of deltiazem is 60 to 90 mg BD or TDS. If patient having a severe thyrotoxicosis or the thyroid storm, in this case we have to give the beta blocker in the form of IV intravenously. So we can give IV ismolol uh, and the dose is 50 to, 100, uh, 50 to 100 microgram per kg per minute in the infusion. This is all about the symptomatic therapy. Now we will discuss about the definitive therapy. The definitive therapy include antithyroid drug, radioactive iodine ablation therapy and the thyroid surgery. If the patient having a Graves disease then we use the antithyroid drugs and if patient having a multinodular goiter and the toxic adenoma in this case we use the radioactive thyroid iodine ablation and the thyroid surgery in today's video we are going to discuss about the anti antithyroid drugs antithyroid drugs include the most commonly used drug is the methimazole the active metabolite of methimazole is known as a carbimazole. The brand available in the India for the carbimazole is neomarcazole. The starting dose for the hyperthyroid is 10 to 20 mg BD or TDS. This is slightly higher dose. And then after starting the neomarcazole, we have to monitor free T4 after 4 to 6 weeks because TSH takes longer time to normalize because it remains the suppressed for the longer duration of time so we cannot monitor the TSH for the titration of the dose so we have to monitor free T4 for the titration of the carbimazole dose once the TSH and the T4 become normalized after few weeks or few months then we can give the maintenance dose of the carbimazole and it is a 2.5 to 10 mg once in a day. The mechanism of action of the carbimazole is 
इट इनहिबिट द फंक्शन ऑफ थायरॉइड पेरोक्सीडेज टीपीओ द साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ कार्बिमाजोल इज इट इट कैन लीड टू द रेसिस अर्टिकारिया फीवर आर्थ्रालजिया एंड द मोस्ट डेंजरस साइड इफेक्ट इज द एप्लासिया क्यूटिस इट इज अ टेराटोजेनिक इफेक्ट दैट इज वाई वी शुड अवॉइड द कार्बिमाजोल ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर ऑफ प्रेग्नेंसी सो द सेकेंड ड्रग अवेलेबल इज द प्रोपाइल थायो यूरेसिल देर इज ओनली टू इंडिकेशन फ्रॉम फॉर द प्रोपाइल थायो यूरेसिल the one is the first trimester of pregnancy and the th- second is the thyroid storm because the carbimazole is the teratogenic so we can use the propyl thiouracil during the first trimester of pregnancy the dose is 50 to 150 mg bd or tds but the side effect of propyl thiouracil is the it is a most hepatotoxic so it can lead to the hepatitis so we have to monitor the liver function test if we are giving the propyl thiouracil of the to the patient and that is why uh, we should give the propyl thiouracil during the only first trimester of pregnancy after the second month we can switch to the carbimazole take home message for the thyroid uh, hyperthyroid management is we have to monitor the cbc and lft if we are treating the hyperthyroidism because the carbimazole can cause the agranulocytosis and we can detect from the cbc and the propyl thiouracil can uh, propyl thiouracil can cause hepatitis so we can detect from the lft uh, we have to monitor only free t4 initially to titrate the dose of carbimazole because tsh remains suppressed for the few months to week it usually take 12 to 16 month to normalize the tsh thank you this is all about the me- medical management of hyperthyroidism